So I have with me now Dr. Samir Sarhan, COO Air Products and Chairman of Air Products Kudra. Welcome to this interview. We just witnessed a session called Hydrogen Reality Promise and Prospects. Could you please tell our viewers more about the session? What did you talk about? Okay. Uh, at Air Products or, and Air Products Kudra, we're really very excited about hydrogen and the role of hydrogen that's going to play in the energy transition. We do believe that uh, companies and countries around the world basically they need to reinvest in this uh, hydrogen for the future. Uh, at Air Products Kudra, Air Products, we are doing this. We have basically announced uh, a multi-billion dollar investments all around the world to produce low carbon hydrogen. That's really going to enable this energy transition. And we look forward to work with our customers all over the world to really put more momentum and energy in this. The energy industry is navigating through change. There's growing concern re regarding energy security, market, market stability or instability, and global economic downturn. How will it affect the path and the strategies of companies and countries towards hydrogen? I mean, there's always gonna be some headwinds that we really need to adjust the sale for. Uh, however, the world is getting bigger. The world needs more energy. The world need more clean energy and we are a believer that this is really going to happen. I mean, it's not going to be flipping a switch from gray hydrogen or gray fossil fuels to, to green. It's going to be a mix of all of this to try to satisfy the world energy needs. And as we go, there will be more a transition to the low carbon side of that. Doctor, little we know about hydrogen. What is real? What is illusion? Hydrogen is definitely real. I mean, air products, uh, is the largest producer of gray hydrogen in the world. We've been in this business for 60 years, so we know how to produce it, we know how to distribute it, we know how uh, in the whole value chain we really have a significant amount of experience. So it is real, and that's why we were really excited to announce a number of projects that are currently under execution to enable the energy transition to low carbon hydrogen. In your opinion, what does the future hold for the energy sector? Uh, it is really, as I mentioned before, we need more energy in this world, so we need all kinds of the energy really to supply the demand. Uh, with time, energies, technologies will be enabled to really produce more low carbon hydrogen. When you sit with yourself and talk and think about yep. the sector, what are the main challenges you really worry about? I think it's across the whole value chain. I mean, there's going to be more uh, investment need to be in the technology development. There are going to be more investment in the product development. There are going to be more investment in the infrastructure to distribute the product and also investment to produce it. So again, it's really needed that we will all work together to really enable all of this uh, and investments in the whole value chain of hydrogen. Thank you. Thank you.